This is our second lesson on chapter 5, discussing measurement and interpretation of elasticities. We recognize that if the price changes from the red point, from PA, and goes down to the orange point, PB, then there's going to be a decrease in price and a significant increase in quantity demanded on an elastic demand curve. But we have to ask ourselves, how much money did the producer make and what happened to the consumer surplus in this case? When the price was at the red dot, or PB, the entire rectangle is an indication, is the demonstration of producer revenue. And as the price decreased, but quantity demanded increased, the producer revenue changed. This demonstrates that on an elastic demand curve, when the own price elasticity is an elastic coefficient, if you cut the price, you will increase your revenue because of the great increases in quantity demanded. And as an individual producer, if you decide to go ahead and increase your price of an elastic product, then your revenue will decrease. If you remember an earlier conversation about consumer surplus, you would recall that consumer surplus is demonstrated by triangles. So when we were at price PB, the consumers had that red rectangle as their surplus. When the triangle changed sizes as price dropped, you can see that the size of the triangles have increased. So if you are the producer and the consumer, when there is a price decrease on an elastic product, you can see the orange triangle is much larger than the red triangle, therefore the consumer surplus is improved. We can follow the same line of thought looking at an inelastic demand curve. And remember, most agricultural products are inelastic in nature. The question you would have to ask yourself, if you are the producer, would you prefer to have the price at PB or the price at PA? This is an indication in red of the producer revenue. And the orange rectangle is an indication of producer revenue when the price has dropped in an, an, an elastic product. While it's challenging to tell, the red rectangle is larger than the orange. So with an inelastic own price elasticity, if you cut the price, if the price goes down, your revenue goes down. And with an inelastic product, if you increase the price, you will increase revenue. When we consider the ideas of consumer surplus and the triangle, 
we can see the red triangle goes all the way to the top and when price decreases we can tell that consumer surplus then adds in all the orange so as price falls in an inelastic demand curve it's positive for consumers but it's not positive for producers this is a short list of agricultural products and you can certainly investigate more elasticities if you go to this website but you can tell as we look at beef cheese bananas milk fruit they are all less than a minus one so they're in between on our number line we can see that they fall in this area therefore they are inelastic products and as you look across the PowerPoint the question is which product is the most sensitive or the most inelastic and which product is the least sensitive or the most elastic let's take a look at this own price elasticity our example is rice and it has an own price elasticity of a negative 0.1467 so earlier on I suggested to you guys once you have your elasticity coefficient it's pretty simple to plug it into the line meaning a 1% change in price 1% change in price gives us a 0.1467 percent change in quantity demanded so that's what that's for one percent but what if we had a 10 percent change in price if it's a 10 percent change in price or 10 times higher than our one percent all we have to do is multiply our elasticity coefficient by 10 and if we took our elasticity coefficient of a 0.1467 multiply that by 10 we would get a 1.467 percent so a 1 percent change would provide us with 0.1467 percent and a 10 percent change would provide us with 1.467 we just simply modify it and multiply by the percent change so if I asked you on a quiz question coming up there's a 5% change in price you would simply take the coefficient and multiply it by 5 if I said there was a 20% change in price you would simply take the coefficient that I've given you and multiply it by 20 As a reminder, this is a elastic product. So, what happens to the revenue of producers in an inelastic product? When the price goes down, revenue goes down. On an inelastic product, when price goes down, revenue goes down. And if we asked what happened for our consumer surplus when price goes down consumer er surplus always increases